Welcome back to Let's Play Hot Wheels Road Race. We're going to the deep. Nothing gets me especially special about the tournament so far, aside from seeing a nice relationship between Drifting Around and Storm and Race Cam. Always keeping a close eye on each other. And for some reason, Veronica, or whatever her name is, being a terrible driver, at least compared to these guys. Oh well. If there's any one song in this game I don't really like, it's probably this one actually. I just don't really care for the whole, like, surf sound that it goes for. It accomplishes that sound, it's just not the sound that I want. The song. Why is... Power Pistons is... Okay, there we go. Man, that, that lighting really works weird with Power Pistons. Colors there. It looked like Power Pistons was like black with red on its side or something. This jump always catches me off guard if I... I'm not waiting for it. Darn it. So See, I think to myself sometimes, okay. So I need to do this particular jump. Well, I did this particular trick last time, so I need to do this particular trick. And I managed to be completely wrong about which trick I did last. Meaning that I end up doing the same trick multiple times, even though I'm specifically trying to think of which one I did last time. I don't know how that keeps happening. Yeah, the, and there's... The song is just a bit too calm for me, I think, for this kind of game. For the stuff that's going on and whatnot. Like, if I had a bit more energy to it, that might be one thing. I might be able to put up with a surf rock type of music then. But as it is, it feels a bit... Not that I'd say it is actually laid back, but there's just not enough energy to it. I don't feel like... Oh, I didn't even realize the left side was shortcutted. I never noticed that. Huh. See, I was specifically thinking to myself that I did a front flip last time. And I was completely wrong. Governor. Do not consent to your governing. I wonder what would happen if I was directly... If me and... Another car were like front bumper to rear bumper. And the one behind used boost on a jump, but the one in front didn't. Rovation shenanigans would happen. So I'm curious, does every single song in this game have the team name set at some point? I'm pretty sure Dinrass does. I know Wave Rivers does because I just heard it. I know that Street Breed does. When do you hear a Street Breed song? Oh, that would be in all the ice tracks. It's because I'd say Street Breed is also associated with space levels, but you don't hear the Street Breed song there. That has its own music. Street Breed plays in the ice levels. You hear the Street Breed name in that at one point. No. Okay. Let's turn. Goes on for so long. What happened there? Uh, for some reason, that it felt like I kind of like boosted on the ground without it registering for the jump for a moment there. But I still end up getting whoop, air. So I don't know. This is an automatic boost jump, isn't it? No, it's not. Darn. Oh, jeez! Oh my god, guys. Am I gonna let... Ah. Come on. Am I gonna let Valencia, whatever her name is, beat me on this one? the very least. Hit the boost. There we go. Second. 
Man, race cam was always right on me. See, now I get to be the one that separates race cam and Future Nine Storm. That's Danny's revenge for not getting first, I guess. Oh, wow! Went on to Governor! Huh. Surprising. Governor's not even second anymore. All the way back to fourth. Man. The Future Nine Storm is way, way behind race cam, to say the least. Huh. Anyways, that was my best time too. I can get my, I can get my best time and not get first because that's what r rubber banding does to you. It's a bit weird. It's weird what rubber banding got, does to a game like this because it means that what position you get isn't quite dependent on how good your time is. It's just whether or not you choke towards the end, basically, depending on how strong the rubber banding is. With how strong it is in this game, it's basically just whether or not you choke towards the end. Like the first lap at least is pretty much completely inconsequential. It's weird hearing this song now after it being the mini music for the GBA version. Because that's all I can hear whenever I hear the guitar in this song. And the GBA version of this game had a really different feel to it than this game did, I feel, somehow. I mean, I guess the different mini music was one, but at the same time, of course, you also had the tracks being totally different. This, the tracks just kind of like floating nonsense, with crazy turns and all that. And then you have the tiered cars, which I'm still not sure was really a good thing or a bad thing. I probably prefer not having tiered cars like that game did. Since it means that... I mean, it's kind of interesting seeing different cars associated with different leagues. But all in all, I prefer being able to play as any car I like in any league. If I want to play a Switchback, for whatever reason, in the Elite League or as Ballistic, it'd be nice to be able to do so. No. Oh yeah, because that doesn't open there and that... Yeah, this... I forgot how much of a nuisance it was trying to get 100% get all the pickups here because that one side bit there doesn't open at the beginning of the track until the third lap. And it's interesting seeing different things, different opportunities appear in every single lap separately, generally speaking. That wasn't the best. But... And forgetting 100% it's a nightmare. Shoot, okay, I guess we're not doing that today. I opened that shortcut for everyone and then didn't take it. That might cost me a lot. Eh, a little. Not as much as it could have. Now we need to take this shortcut on the right. That's much a shortcut, just a little boost pad. And this time I do manage to get all the pickups there. Aha! Still, I always have that moment of wondering, am I just gonna like try to boost but not actually have enough nitro to do it whenever I go straight from one jump to another like that? When I try to boost them both simultaneously? But I still manage to boost every single time. I don't think I've ever managed to screw it up somehow. It seems like you can boost before your boost meter is actually full yet or something. It's weird suddenly being able to turn better on those turns that I've been doing. Like that there, it feel, felt like I wasn't going to be able to boost at all. Got it though. I don't care about that shortcut anyways, since I can't actually use it. But yeah, I don't think I've ever managed to pick up that flaming wheel there. I think somebody else has always gone it for me. Because it's such a tight turn you have to do to pick it up. I always forget that's there anyways. Nice 200 miles per hour for a while towards the end there. Yep, race came and shift combined storm. Neck and neck. Man, we've really gotten a good idea of who does what in this in this league. It's interesting. Oh man, just combined storm and race came are far away now. Although, 
It's kind of, it's a little bit deceptive since the race cam's actually just tied with Governor. But man, even all his goons are beating. Drift from Storm. That's unimpressive. Oh! New lap. Awesome. Now I'm playing records with Danny here. That's surprising. Although this is finally a car that doesn't have... I think this one has high accelerations. I think it's finally a car that doesn't have high top speed and low acceleration. Which is a good car. This is, which is a good stat setup for getting good times if you don't hit things. Oh well. Let's try to finish off this race. And then we'll be done with this league. And it's getting to where, and right now I can only do like a league and a half per recording session. It takes you four or five minutes to do a league. Meaning, once we have, how many more tracks are we going to have? Like four, five? I think five. Once we have, uh, you know, those might be longer tracks too. The late leagues are going to take forever. They might actually take more than an entire recording session each. It'd be weird not be able to do one in a single setting. Sitting. Yeah, guys, yeah, so this is a street breed song. Seeing all this technological stuff in an otherwise like totally barren ice area it might be a little bit of blinks actually. And I don't, I don't know if there's any overlap between people watching me play this game, people who know anything about blinks, but it reminds me of Everwinter, which I never, the game itself never tells you all anything about any of the levels. But the thing was, having read one of this, having read an officially sanctioned strategy guide at least, which gave descriptions for all the areas, which was awesome. Just get to hear a little bit about like why things are the way they are and whatnot. Like why you see these serious things in certain areas. They explained that all the metal stuff, all the machinery you saw was actually mining equipment for oil. Hey, I actually managed to get that on the first try that time. So you're getting that shortcut for once. Let's go up here too. I don't mind the street food music so much. Also not my favorite song in the game. But it works. It also works for a nice place decently well despite being themed more after the team than the track is. Would work very well in particular I would say for Place like this. Actually, if I remember right, a little bird told me, one could say, that going left is actually faster there. I don't know about going right and then left. I think going left, staying on the left might be the fastest route there. But you get pickups if you go right. Something to that effect. Ah, more small jumps. Oh no! I do actually miss a shortcut. Well, it's not really a shortcut, it's just a higher road. Although it does open something up, but something got for me anyways. Just let everyone do my work for me. It's, it's almost like it's some kind of twisted type of teamwork, except everyone's self-motivated and just trying to help themselves. Darn. It's unfortunate what's happening here. Yeah, this would, I mean, if you told me that this was going to be a theme for a more urban setting, like a city or something, I would 100% believe it, because it sounds super fitting for it. But, if you told me that it was going to be for an ice area instead, I could still understand it. I could still get it. Actually, this reminds me of some of the, whatever it was, like, m missile, silo, or volcano, or whatever types of areas. Darn. This thing. They match it every time. That we saw in Velocity X. So I guess Danny has been in Tundra. Yeah, I forgot Velocity X had more variety than I realized it did. Oh, so what's with all, what's with all the like biospheres in this game where you just have like a big glass structure with greenery inside of it? It's kind of odd. Whoa! Just your storm choked like crazy. And somehow, Veronica of our name has actually managed to get something that isn't last game. That's surprising. So I guess this is what decided who won, though, between Race Cam and Governor by about a third of a second. 
governor necked him out. That's, I mean, that's an exciting story that we weren't a part of. Some drama going on there. The near victory. A very close victory. New lap and new race. Awesome. I saw a lot more wrecks than I thought I would. But the near victory, or at least close victory, held by Governor. Doing as the Golden Tetrad members do. Anyways, ta da! Now we get to see this car well. So you might notice actually, the side of this car, I don't remember why I didn't copy it straight from Velocity X. For some reason, there was something about the texture on the side of the car that made it really difficult, basically impossible to copy. So I actually drew that stuff on the side myself. But the front of the car, you can notice it's actually a slightly different color from the rest of the car. The front of the car is actually straight from Velocity X, copied straight up. And of course, you have a little deed that I added. That song, it's a nice song. I wish I heard more of it, actually, because it goes on for like two minutes. Anyways. So, can you save? I don't think you can save replays. I was wondering about that a couple episodes ago. Anyways. All the stuff we have unlocked. See which one we didn't have unlocked yet. There's still some cars we're yet to see, like Grease Lightning. Man, I want to see it at some point. Ew. Oh no, I think we already saw her. It's nice seeing these again, though. Drift King R or Danny, I mean. Drift King Danny. They're not very impressive. Oh ho! Now we have Gearhead. I want to play this Gearhead at some point, but that'll be at a later point, I guess. But in any case, I'll see you guys next time, next episode of Let's Play Hot Wheels World Race. Here we I suppose, do the last of this particular run through. We already did power pistons, we did golden arrow. Does someone have Gupper unlocked? I didn't realize that. We had race cam. We did Danny. Yeah, so next time we will still have Drift Grand Storm. Huh. Who will we play as next time, actually? Huh. There's really no one to play as here. I'll see you guys next time though. Wherever whoever we play as. It's a weird situation.